Okay, guys, we're out here at the range today with the uh, Ruger Mark One and 22 long rifle. We're going to give it a shot and see how she's shooting now that we've got it all cleaned up and uh, making sure everything's functioning okay. All right, well, we'll go ahead and finish out our test shooting, but that gives you guys a good example. Uh, like I say, this is a Ruger Mark I and 22 long rifle. Uh, we're going to finish putting uh, probably close to 100 rounds through it, maybe a little over, and uh, make sure we don't have any malfunctions and uh, see how it goes. Hope you guys find this interesting. We'll talk to you later. You have a good day. Hello everybody and welcome back to the ranch. Well, the question that begs is what happened after we left the video portion of our range shooting. Well, as you saw there, we got, uh, I believe it's 30 or 40 rounds through it, no problems at all. However, once we got about 50 to 60 rounds through it, we started having problems. And one of the problems that we had was, I'm assuming basically the same problem that uh, tactical Chris was having with it in that the trigger was not resetting and what it would actually require is a little forward pressure on the trigger and then a cycling of the slide to allow the trigger to reset sometimes it would continue to fire after that and sometimes the trigger was having to be reset after each shot so we made some calls and what we found out was the serial number of this particular weapon dates back to 1971. I asked Tactical Chris if he had any idea how many rounds had been fired through it and he basically told me that he bought the gun used so he had absolutely no idea but there had probably been several, round, several thousand rounds through it since he had owned it. So what I'm suspecting is that we've got some spring issues. Um, not sure what the mileage should be on a uh, 22 caliber, but on some of our larger pistols, as we know, it's uh, time to redo recoil springs at five, at three to five thousand rounds. So I'm going to assume that this thing probably has tens of thousands of rounds through it, being as how it's pushing 40. 142 years old so we're going to order up a spring kit and do a complete teardown on this pistol and see what that gets us uh, springs aren't too bad for this I has about 20 bucks in springs so we've got that ordered we'll wait on the mail and see what happens with that and go from there hope you guys do find this interesting We'll talk to you later. You have a good day.